lunch and build. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Project VL. I'm here with Johnny Pillar from Powerhouse Engines. I brought my RB30 engine down here for a bit of work. We're gonna put a set of forged pistons and rods in it. What else are we gonna do, Johnny? Uh, well, it's here, here for the full machine job, mate. So, it's gonna get, um, yeah, start off with a line home. We'll get the deck squared up and uh, torque plate board and honed. Um, we're gonna balance it, obviously. Yep. And, uh, and all the other little tricks that we do to those RVs to, to keep them going when you're making decent power. Awesome. Hmm. So what are the kind of little intricacies of the RB compared to, say, a different type of engine? Oh, those things, um, generally, like clearances are a lot tighter than what we'd run on conventional V8s. Um, camshaft is obviously uh, really important with getting that right with the turbo. Yep. Um, with the, what are you actually hoping to do with that, Aiden? Like, uh, what's, well, what's we've got a 64mm Turbonetics turbo on it hmm. with full E85 fuel system, yep. um, big camshaft. Yeah. Hoping to make somewhere between five and six hundred horsepower at the crank. Yeah. Uh, I want to run tens pretty comfortably. Yeah. Maybe nines eventually. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Do you reckon yeah. we can do that? Yeah. Hundred percent. Like, uh, no problems making that sort of power reliably with an RB. And um, yeah, we can run on our engine dyno and just uh, make Beautiful. sure make sure it's doing it. Sounds yeah. good to me. Let's get into it. Yeah. So this is the first time I've seen the engine since it was in the bath a few weeks ago. It's a lot cleaner now than what it was, but there's still a few imperfections on the block. So we're just cleaning it up a little bit and then we're gonna start machining it and test fitting all the pistons and rods and that sort of thing. This is Trevor, he's test fitting the crank girdle with our ARP main studs. Got about half, half of that without it come out. Yeah, so this thing here's got about a thousand come out until um, we get to the bottom tolerance for the factory spec. So we, yeah, we'll be taking it back to standard size pretty much. So there's not a lot to come out of it then? No, only a thousand, so that's not really a lot. Yeah, so we're just going to focus on this top side now because we're, the other side is getting a bit closer to zero. So yeah, so the um, the bottom tolerance is 2.3, 8, and 9 tenths, and the top one is 2.3 and 9 with 4 tenths. So we're pretty much bang on, bang on in the middle of the tolerances. So that's pretty much where we wanted to be at. So yeah. So I'm here with Trevor again, and now it's time to bore the block so we can put these awesome spool pistons into the block. So these are 86 and millimeters, whereas the standard bore of an RB30 is 86 millimeters. So we'll have to trim a little bit out of it. So Trevor, explain what we're gonna do. Yeah, so first we're just gonna deck it so it's got a nice flat face, and then we'll give it a good bore out. So then we only have a little bit to hone out of them. So then it'll be nice and quick and easy. Uh, it took about 12 thou and I wanted to take about 13, so we're just gonna move it out another thou and then send it down and then smash it out. Yeah, so we just um, here cracked us in the crankshaft for the RB30. Um, so far we haven't found any cracks, but um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So what's the special light that you use? Uh, this is just an ultraviolet light, so 
it'll show us any cracks with the fluid that we use because it makes the, um, the little iron particles stand up and you'll see a fluorescent light. So, um, so far we haven't found anything. It's been a couple of days since we last checked in with my RB30 build at Powerhouse Engines. I've had a haircut and a shave, but it's still me. Today we're playing with the crankshaft. So we've done a crack test on it and it's all good. Now we are doing a bend test to make sure it's all still straight. So do you want to just explain what goes into that? Yeah, so we just got this dial indicator on the bed of the mill. And when we spin it, it shows you in half the hour divisions how bent or straight it is. And then, um, yeah, so this thing's only got about two thousand bend in the middle, which isn't really that much at all. Um, so, yeah, it pretty much passes all the tests that we do to them. Yeah, so we just drilled out the aluminium plug to um, put one of these um, 516 UNF plugs in. And the reason why we do that is because when we put it in the hot tank, the acid can eat out the aluminium to make them fall out. But when we put one of these in, they have no chance of falling out. The next step in the process is to torque plate home the block. We're basically putting cross hatches into the bores of the cylinder so that it retains oil. So how do we do that, Trevor? Yeah, so we just use this home here. Um, so we've got like these diamond stones. So they'll go up and down, as you can see in the video. And um, yeah, it just puts a nice finish on them so the rings can seat and it will hold oil up on the bores too so that nothing seizes up. We're down at Powerhouse Engines today. We're working on the RB30 cylinder head. We've taken off all of the studs except for one snapped one that I broke. So Trevor's gonna sort that out and then what are we doing? Oh, we're gonna sandblast it and make it look nice and then we'll start doing some machining work on it, cut the seeds, deck it, and then um, we'll be able to get the cam in it and yeah. Well, we're just gonna get a nut here, weld it on and then just unscrew it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just here, um, we're going to do some coating and polishing on this thing. And um, all we're going to do is knock a bit off the short term, make it a bit nicer and smoother for the airflow. So here we are at the rod hone machine. Here's one of my spool rods. We're just taking a little bit of material out of the big end of these rods so that they're all identical. How much are we taking out? Yeah, so we're taking about about five microns out, which is a couple tenths of a thou. So um, yeah, it won't need a lot of material out of them. Cool, so that's barely anything, but we want to get this perfect so that they all sit nicely in the, uh, the crank. Yep. So we're just checking for alignment and straightness. So then, um, these things are, yeah, they're pretty good. So we don't need to straighten them at all. So yeah, so we're just checking the lengths now, just to make sure they're all within a couple of power. Yeah, so we're just finding the lightest rod at the moment, zeroing it, and then we're going to make them all the same. 
So we'll make them all bang on zero. Yeah, so we're all done with the big end weights. So now we're just gonna do the all round weights so then all of them weigh the same. Yeah, so now we're just balancing the pistons. So we're gonna take a slight bit of material out of this section here on the pistons to make them all weigh the same. Like it's 0 0.03 or 0 0.3, sorry. Oh, we're just making sure all the angles are the same because um, I'm dressing them so they've got a nicer finish. So, um, yeah. So, Trevor, what have we done so far with the engine? Yeah, so with the bottom end, it's pretty much finished. So, we've board decked it, torque plate honed it done a line home job on it so and ring gap so it's pretty much ready to go together. Awesome and now we're going to do the cylinder head so what have we got to go with that? Yeah so we've pretty much done the short turns on the inlet to exhaust and um, we're going to cut the seats set the preloads on the hydraulic cam and then yeah we'll be pretty much ready. Oh, we're just checking the cc's of the like the chamber cc so like um, cubic centimetre of the chamber, so we can work out the comp compression ratio. So we'll just fill this up with... And next episode, you're going to see us actually assembling the whole engine, so stay tuned for that.